animations that rack up hundreds of thousands of views are incredibly popular, and for good reason too. They're fun, engaging, and have a unique charm. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own animation, like low-budget stories, using just Photoshop and After Effects. We'll walk through the entire process step by step. I have made my own small video using the same techniques showed at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through every step to create animations like low-budget stories. Step 1. Character Design If you're like me and not great at drawing freehand, don't worry. We'll use a reference image for help. Search online for an image that matches the pose you want for your character. Fire up Photoshop and create a new file. Set the resolution to 4K and adjust the DPI to 300. This ensures that even when you zoom in, the image maintains its quality and doesn't pixelate. Press Ctrl plus H to hide the guides. Next, drag your reference image into the workspace. Add a new layer and name it Outline. To see the lines, clearly double-click the layer to open layer style, then click Color Overlay. Choose a red color and hit OK. Select the brush tool and press D to reset colors and make sure that foreground color is set to black. Set the smoothing value to a higher value for smoother lines. Now we are ready to draw our character. You can use your mouse to draw, but I'll recommend you to use a graphic tablet. Select your outline layer and begin drawing the outline of your character over the reference image. Now coloring. Choose your colors and make a darker version of them for the shadows. Create two new layers, one for color and one for shading. Name the layers accordingly. Start painting on the color layer. Afterward, lower the opacity of the color layer to see the shadows of the reference image. On the shading layer, paint with the darker shade to add depth. Quick tip, you can also add a color overlay to the shadow layer to see the painted area clearly. And we are done making the body. Now we need to draw the head. You can draw it freehand, but I drew over a Wojak character head image. I did the coloring and shading of the head using the same way. Don't forget to turn off the red color overlay on the outline layer. Once you're happy with your drawing, export your work. Step 2. Face Expression First, draw your character's head outline as shown before. Once that's done, move on to outlining the shape of the eyes. Now select the color layer and click on the mask button. Next, grab the brush tool, set the foreground color to black, and mask out the eye area of the color layer. We're doing this so we can animate the eyeballs in After Effects. Next, for the closed eyes, add two new layers on the top layer. Draw two lines to mimic closed eyes and use the bottom layer to fill the hole. Select both layers, press Ctrl plus E to merge them and name it Closed Eye. Now we have a base to draw any emotion we want. Just create a new layer and draw your desired expression. As example, I have made this one's using reference images form internet. Launch After Effects and create a 1080p composition. Drag your Photoshop file into After Effects, making sure the import kind is set to composition and editable layer styles is selected. Click OK. Your composition will now be added to the timeline. Turn on the Collapse Transformation switch to keep the quality clean and avoid pixelation. Open the composition and set keyframes for where you want your character's expression to change. Name them according to the expressions like starting a smile here, changing to sad at this point, and then to serious at this point. Select the expressions, turn them on and change their color to purple. Change the closed eyes layer color to red and the face shape layer color to green. You can use any color to organize your layers. Select the expression layer and closed eyes layer, then temporarily turn them off. Add a new solid layer, use the eyedropper tool to sample the face color and drag the white solid layer under the face shape layer. 
Use the pen tool to create a mask around the eye socket. Create a shape layer. Select the circle tool and create the eyeballs like me. Next, position this layer beneath the face shape layer and name it eyeballs. Turn on the expression layer and cut it according to the keyframes. Turn on the closed eyes layer and split it into four frame segments to place where you want the character to blink. To animate the eyeball movement, select the eyeball layer and press P to open the position parameter. Set a keyframe, go forward a few frames, change the eyeball position, and apply easy ease by pressing F9. Your character's facial expressions are now fully animated and you can see him rizzing us with his smile. Step 3. Walking and running animation. We will recreate this footage from Low Budget Story. I've created a character in Photoshop. Let's call him Jeff. I imported Jeff into After Effects, used the anchor point tool to position the anchor point at Jeff's leg, and then adjusted his size and position to fit the scene. After that, open the rotation parameter by pressing R and set a keyframe, then go 20 frame forward and set a keyframe and set the value to minus 2, then go another 20 frames and reset the value to 0, then hold Alt and click on the stopwatch and write loop out expression, then select your keyframes and easy ease them by pressing F9. Next, I added a street image as the background, positioned it under Jeff's layer, resized it according to the scene, and ensured the image extended beyond the composition frame so we can animate it like this. Then I opened the position parameter by pressing P, right click, and separate dimension, then set a X keyframe to animate the background. After that, we will add a character behind him, walking just like Low Budget Story. Rather of a girl, I will add the legend Mr. Bean. I took a photo of Mr. Bean, created his Wojak character, imported it into After Effects, and applied the same walking animation. By positioning Mr. Bean's layer under Jeff's layer and animating him using the position parameter, I made Mr. Bean walk behind Jeff. Finally, I gave Jeff a smile and eye movement to complete the animation. To animate a running character like in low budget stories, first draw your character in a running pose, then separate the character's head and body into two layers. Right click on the move tool and select the artboard tool and ensure that the artboard is set to be transparent. Then create another artboard and copy both layers onto this new artboard. Then flip the body layer horizontally to simulate motion. Finally, go to File, Export, click Export As, and hit Export, and done. In After Effects, start by dragging your PNGs into the timeline and repositioning your character. Move forward 5 frames, then cut the layers. Select the second layer and drag it to the end edge of the first layer. Pre-compose both layers. Right click on the pre-composed layer, go to time and enable time remapping. Hold alt and click on the stopwatch. Then go to the expression language menu, choose property and select the loop out expression. Pre-compose your layer again. Select the pre-composed layer and press P to open the position parameter. Right click on it and select separate dimensions. Set a keyframe for the Y axis, move forward 5 frames and increase its value. Move another 5 frames and reset the keyframe. Select the keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Follow my graph for smooth motion, then close the graph. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch, then write the loop out expression. After this, you should see your character start running. After that, just add a background video and we are done. Step 4. Weightlifting animation. Weightlifting animations are a common feature in many low budget stories videos. Today I will show you how to create one. First drag your Wojak character into After Effects and rescale and reposition it according to your scene. Press P to open the position parameter, then right click and select separate dimensions. Set a Y position keyframe, go 15 frames forward and increase its value. 
Next, go another 15 frames forward and copy the initial keyframe by pressing Ctrl plus C, then paste it by pressing Ctrl plus V. Select the keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch, then write the loop out expression. Open the graph editor and replicate my graph. This is how it looks after giving the animation. Finally, add a gym image behind the character. Step 5. Environment creation. This is the most important part of the video. To make the background, we'll need a ton of assets. Now, you could be fancy and buy assets from paid websites, but in reality... You're wrong! You're fucking poor! Instead, I turn to AI. After testing a ton of free options, I got the best results using Ideogram. But there's a catch. They only give you 10 free credits a week. If you've got cash to spare, their subscription is cheap. But if you're like me, create multiple accounts. First, create an empty room or any type of background you prefer. Next, we will generate different additional object images to complete the scene. I have provided a prompt in the description. You can tweak it to whip up assets in any perspective your heart desires. Oh, and here's the kicker. No need to paint the shadows in Photoshop. Ideogram's assets come with built-in shadows, saving you time and a headache. You're welcome. Once you've got all your assets, use the software called Upscale to upscale your images. Some images might need a little repair before upscaling. Patch them up, then launch Photoshop and create a new file. Set the resolution to 4K and bump it up to 300 dpi. Drag and drop your background image. Then import any asset you want. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Rename the layers. Call the top layer, anything, and name the bottom one shadow. Turn off the shadow layer for now. Select the top layer. Grab the pen tool and trace a neat path around your object. Ow. Press Ctrl, plus enter to turn the path into a selection. Then click the mask button and the object is masked. Now turn the shadow layer back on and set its blend mode to multiply for an instant shadow. But wait, it darkens the background. To fix this, select the shadow layer, go to Image, Adjustment, Levels, and then Tweak Levels to remove this black cast. You can also use this to adjust the intensity of the shadow. After that, select all the layers for this object, right click and choose Link Layers. Finally, press Ctrl plus G to group them and give it a name. Now you can animate any object of the background in After Effects with their shadow. Repeat this for all your assets until everything fits together. Step 6 Day-Night Cycle Many low-budget stories videos include nighttime scenes. I'll show you how to turn a daytime scene into nighttime. For this example, I'll convert my running animation scene into nighttime. First select the background layer, go to Effects and Presets, then search for Lumetri color. Add it to the background layer and open Basic Correction. Decrease the temperature to minus 70 and exposure to minus 4. Click on the Lumetri color effect and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then select your character layer and press Ctrl plus V to paste the effect onto the character layer. Next, select your character layer and create a duplicate by pressing Ctrl plus D. Rename it, then apply Drop Shadow, Set Matte, and CC Composite. Activate Shadow only and adjust the Take Matte from Layer to Character Set, Composite Original to Soft Light. Fine tune the distance and softness to create a realistic shadow effect. Finally, drag the Lumetri color effect under the drop shadow, set matte, and CC composite effect. And that's it. Your daytime scene is now transformed into nighttime. Congratulations. You have successfully learned all the steps. Now you can create your own animation video. But first, here's an example of what I've made. Enjoy. At last. After eight hours of hard work, my video is finally complete. Let's upload it. Fingers crossed it performs great. Oh my, oh my god. I won! I actually won!
breathe air. Oh, it was a dream. I should get back to work to make it a reality. Sorry.